Hi, I'm Laura Coyle, and I have a video for you from my Heart of Illustrator beginning course. This is about how to make a clipping mask and edit it in Illustrator, and it's under five minutes. Let's take a look. Here I have an image. I can tell it's linked because it's got an X in it. So I'm going to go over and get my rectangle tool and then create a masking shape. So something that I want to use to mask this image. And then you need to place it above what you want to mask and then get your selection tool and select both things, both the masking shape and the image, and then go up to the object menu and down to clipping mask, make. And the keyboard shortcut for that is command or control seven. When you select your clipping mask, you'll see up in the upper left corner of the illustrator window, this is called a clip group. And it has two buttons here next to it, allowing you to either edit the clipping path or the contents. You can see when I click on the contents button, I have that image selected and now I can reposition it inside of the clipping mask. Now I'll just deselect. So we definitely need a way of getting at the individual parts of this clip group, because if we just select the whole clip group, like any other group in Illustrator, these bounding box edits apply to everything. So we can wind up accidentally squeezing our photograph like that. Let me go ahead and undo this. So to edit a clipping mask, you can either use the buttons on the top control bar, or you can treat this like any other group in Illustrator and switch back and forth between your selection tool and your direct selection tool. So for example, I'll go ahead, deselect the clip group. Then I'm going to grab my white arrow by tapping a on my keyboard. Then I can select the photograph inside and move it around inside of this clipping shape. Now, if I want to select the shape, I can click on its edge like this with my white arrow, then switch to my black arrow. So we see the black arrow there and now I can edit the rectangle without disturbing the photograph. So whether you use the buttons on the top control bar or you use your black arrow and white arrow, either way, you can decide which part of the clipping mask you want to edit. It's also helpful to look at clip groups in the layers panel. So here in the layers panel, I have layer one. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the triangle and we can see here's the clip group. Turn down the triangle again and inside we have the rectangle. That's our clipping path and the linked file. That's our image. And I can just deselect here by clicking on my artboard and then go in and individually select either the image or the rectangle. So here's yet another way to select the individual components of this clip group. Notice also while I have this shape selected that it has an underline underneath it. So this is how we know that this is the clipping path. Also, now that I have it selected, I can certainly do more edits like we did before, but I also want to point out that over here at the bottom of the tool panel, we have no fill and no stroke. So that's something that happens when you create a path or a shape and use it as a mask. Once you do that object clipping mask make, that shape becomes invisible with a no fill and no stroke appearance. And that remains the same even if we release this clipping mask. So let's go with the clipping mask selected up to the object menu, right back to where we were, clipping mask, and then we're going to choose release. And now we no longer have our clip group. If I look over in layer one, we just have a rectangle with no fill and no stroke on top of our linked file. So that's how to make a clipping mask in Illustrator and kind of a look under the hood in the layers panel. And knowing it from this perspective is going to help us when we get into more complex clip groups where we have lots of objects and nested groups. Well, I hope you found that video helpful. Visit my website, lauracoilcreative.com for more information on my membership, which includes courses, community, and live calls every month. Thank you for watching.